Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eptian, if this is your first time here, I review two wireless stereo earbuds and in-ear monitors. And this video is the review of the Boommaker Sci-Fi 2. Now the price on these are $59.99 on boommaker.com. Unfortunately, they're not on Amazon. Now the features, you get stereo mono mode, 30 hours of playtime with the case, IPX7 waterproof, that's no cap. You get Bluetooth 5.0, that's SBC on iOS and AAC on Android. You also have six millimeter dynamic drivers that are made out of graphene. You have full touch controls and USB type C charger. Now, as far as the fit and the design, the case of the earbuds is very oblong, kind of a rectangular shape with rounded corners. You have a thin lid, you pop it open, earbuds are inside. Now the earbuds themselves are dot style. They're a little hard to get out of the case, but not too hard. As you can see, I have the SpinFit CP360s on here. These are the medium size. You got the pins. You got the uh, branding for the left and the right. Have a flat uh, face where the uh, touch controls sit. And the microphones are somewhere on here. Uh, oh, they're on the front. We also have the Boom Maker logo. Now, if you turn to the back of the case, you'll have a USB Type C charging port, and these do support quick charging. And on the front, you'll be happy to know, especially for me, you got LED indicator lights, plural. So I'm about maybe 75% on battery on the case. I'm not really worried about the buzz because they quick charge. Now. I'm gonna give you a call quality sample in a quiet environment right now. This is the call quality test of the Boommaker Sci-Fi 2 True Wireless Earbuds in a quiet environment. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think of the sound. Sci-Fi 2. Okay, now let's move on to the controls. Now, left or right earbud, one tap is pause and play. Two taps on the left earbud is previous track. Two taps on the right is next track. Three taps on either earbud, left or right, is voice assistant. A long press on the left is volume down. Long press on the right is volume up. And these also have call controls. One tap on either earbud is to answer calls. One tap on left or right is to hang up and the long press is to decline calls. Now, as, the, on the, as far as the battery life is concerned, you get seven hours on a single charge and you get 35 additional hours with the case. The quick charge is 10 minutes is about one hour of play time and the charging case will give you three to four additional recharges. In my extent, experience, I get around six hours on a single charge because I listen to these at a higher volume to what their uh, the company says in the user manual. And the earbuds, they have each, they each have a battery of like 50 milliamps and the charging case has a battery capacity of 420 giggity. Yep, it says right there on the bottom. Capacity 420 milliamps. So the sound quality, cover your ears one, cover them. Over your ears, bro. I'm about to say that word. These have these sound warm, really good sound. Good bass, good sub bass. It's got great beat to them. They're really fun sounding uh, earbuds. I really like listening to music with these. In my testing, rap, R&B, hip hop, or uh, rap and hip hop, same thing. Duh, rock. Everything sounds good. Sound stage sounds good. You really get like a separation between the instruments when you're listening to music. And that, I listen to these at about, let me see, I don't think I got to the max volume. I probably stayed around 80 to 85 and the music was sounding great. I wish I should have gotten um, 
I should have listened to these at max volume to see this out if they got as loud as the Soundpiece Q or the Impal M13s or the other earbuds that I've used, but I didn't unfortunately because I'm into, I test a lot of earbuds. But the imaging, the, the mids, the highs, the lows, everything sounds great. I really like these a lot, especially for the sound. Now, comparisons. Comparison, I'm gonna compare these to some earbuds that are sort of similar. I've already unboxed these on my channel. These are the Monster Inlights. Uh, the Boom Makers sound much better than these. I'm gonna do a review probably sometime uh, next week. Gonna be, can, uh, be testing these out a little more. Well, I think I've tested these out as much as I, I, I want to. Uh, yeah, but the Boom Makers, whew, man, great sound. I wish these were on Amazon though. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get these. They're only on boommaker.com. So in my conclusion, these sound great. I mean, they have all of the features that you would want in the earbuds, you know, wire, uh, not wireless charge, excuse me, IPX7 waterproof, full touch controls. I have, you know, SPC on iOS, AAC on Android. And they fit very comfortably in the ears as well. And the case is pocketable. Yep, 15 pocket. So, well, before I wrap up this video, just let me say where I got these buds from. I got these from a very good friend of mine. You might know him as El Jefe Reviews, but I call him West Coast Jeff. My name is Jeff. Uh, we were chopping it up in the DMs one day, and he was like, you know, I got this review I'm doing. I'm going to send you out some earbuds. And I was like, what? And he was like, well, send me a list of your earbuds because I, I can see you something extra. And I was like, give me 30 minutes because it's going to be a long list. So I gave him the list. He gets back to me with the tracking information. And like a week goes by get a big box on the back porch open it up and i'm like good googly moogly so jeff if you're watching this video gracias hermano really i appreciate it so this has been my review of the boom maker sci-fi 2 true wireless earbuds don't forget to leave a like comment and share on this video and thank you for watching of uh, the boom maker sci-fi